I'm Staff Sergeant Allie Rose. Wednesday, the Department of Defense delivered its annual report on sexual assault at the three military academies to Congress. The report collects information in eight different categories defined in the Uniform Code of Military Justice. The categories range from inappropriate touching to rape. Dr. K. Whitley, director of the Sexual Assault Prevention and Response Office, says the primary goal of the report is to make sure victims get the treatment they need. And as a result, the academies have adapted new approaches to the problem. So far this fiscal year, all four services met or exceeded their recruiting goal, recruiting and retention goals. That's according to the Department of Defense. As for the reserve components, five of the six services met or exceeded their goals. The Air National Guard was a reserve component, co component that did not meet its goal. A major milestone for the U.S. Coast Guard. For the first time ever, the superintendent of the U.S. Coast Guard Academy will be a female. Rear Admiral Sandra Stoltz will be the the only female to lead a U.S. Service Academy when she assumes command next summer. Admiral Stoltz is currently the Coast Guard Director of Reserve and Leadership. She's also a 1982 graduate of the Academy and the first woman among its graduates to hold the rank of Flag Officer. And that's your news update. I'm Staff Sergeant Allie Rose. For more military news, head to pentagonchannel.mil. The Air Force Global Strike Command is the newest major command in the Air Force, having just been activated in August of last year. Over the past few months, the command held Global Strike Challenge, a competition that tested the readiness of the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Crews and the Strategic Bombing Force. Tech Sergeant Jeremy Zaire takes us to Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana, for a competition results ceremony that honored the best Global Strike Command airmen. The first ever Global Strike Challenge wrapped up with a three-part event that featured a security forces competition, a nuclear enterprise symposium, and an award ceremony. Lieutenant Colonel Michael Petrosh, the event lead project officer, explains that even though it is a new annual competition, it's not the first of its kind. Global Strike Challenge uh, is a, uh, a combination of the, uh, the historic uh, bomb comp that uh, SAC uh, ran from uh, 1948 up to 1992 and the missile competition that was known as uh, Olympic Arena and then in later years Guardian Challenge. The competitive nature of the event helps Global Strike Command Airmen accomplish their everyday mission. Going that extra mile to make sure that in, in this business, in our business of uh, the nuclear enterprise, that uh, there's no stone unturned, there's no detail too small. That's the kind of spirit that we're looking for out of these, out of these competitors. The 90th Missile Wing from F.E. Warren Air Force Base, Montana, was named the best missile wing. And the 509th Bomb Wing from Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri, was crowned the best bomb wing. Technical Sergeant Jeremy Zier Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana. Coming up ahead on Around the Services, we'll have an update on BAH rates. But first, we set up shop at Task Force Brawler, where an aviation unit is seeing the theater as much from the ground as in the air. Stay with us.